Today, you can watch me play Ladybug for the ColecoVision. This was made in 1982 for the ColecoVision. I will be doing skill one. And as many universal games have is instead of earning free guys with points, you earn them by spelling or completing letters. And in this case, you have to spell the word extra for a free ladybug and special for the special bonus board, which we'll see if I get to it. Now, at uh, the start of the board, <clears throat> one monster is released at a time, and your only defense is to push the walls that are green to block. And you have no other defense than that. It's not like Pac-Man, where you can eat a power pellet and eat them. You must constantly avoid them. So as you can see, the behavior of the creatures is pretty erratic. And you have to eat all the X's to complete the board. You also all have to eat the letters and the hearts. So ideally when you start a board, you should get the three blue hearts first because they are multiplied. Oh, if you look, I just ate the cucumber and when you eat the cucumber, not only do you get points, but all the monsters freeze. Oh, I just died. All the monsters freeze still and then you could go and defend yourself or continue to eat stuff, but you can't touch them. Again, Ladybug is totally defenseless. So now I'm going to wait for the eye to turn red, and then it will count for the word special. And you have to do the same to spell extra. Make sure they turn yellow for extra. And you have to eat all the hearts when they're blue. And if you look at the multiplier, it's two times, three times, and five times. So it's quite advantageous to eat all the blue first and if you also notice some letters overlap so you the A will apply for the special and the extra and it will also apply the letter E for special and extra so be on the lookout Now when a monster eats a skull, it goes right back to the center, but the bonus thing is every single time the last monster leaves the center, it leaves a vegetable. So if you're really crafty, you can uh, get the same vegetable many times. And there's a different vegetable for each level, I think up to 10 levels. The game gets very hard very fast. You can also not eat the skulls. Now these things look like turtles, but I bet they're praying mantis, I don't know. The graphics in the arcade are much better. Well, not that much better. Uh, the monsters look better, they got more colors. So I'm going to try to get this X when it's yellow. Got it. And this is a game of patience. You can never totally trap yourself. But you can also, though, really make it hard for them to get to you. And part of the game strategy is to lead them out and then block them and go around. If you're a real special mathematizer or genius, I bet there are better strategies to position the walls in a series so it's more beneficial for you than them. But I'll leave that to you. I don't want to spoil the entire game. 
I want that carrot. In my opinion, this is one of the most solid games made for the ColecoVision. I haven't found really any bugs in it at all. Uh, so collision is really good. This is going to be tricky. I can do it. Got it. Wait. I can go up here. Got it. Look at that. That's skill. This brings me to another point. One of the hardest things to master in this game is controlling your ladybug. You really got to take those turns. The ladybug doesn't slide around corners. Pac-Man does. So for example, you could hold the controller in Pac-Man diagonally up and he'll take the first up right away. Not ladybug. Ladybug, you have to move specifically in your direction. Very deliberate. And if you're a little off, well, too bad, you'll get stuck. Now, if you notice that timer going around the border, every time it completes a rotation, that's when a monster is released. That's the best reason I can give you for it. You can't really time the color of the letters that way, but maybe you can. Oh, this is good. Got the radish. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get those two on the bottom. This little guy's he's guarding it. Oh, I should I got it. Look at that. Level five, parsley. Three thousand a piece. So if you notice that there's four skulls, so theoretically I could get five parsley on this board. If I let all the monsters out and have them eat a skull when I want them to. But that takes amazing skill and it's probably not worth it. Yeah, in this game, no points is worth risking in your life. Because free guys, you really have to earn. And you're at the mercy of the game of what letters are distributed on the game system, on your game level. So it's random. You could get TRA over and over again. Usually the game will give you at least one specific yellow, one specific red, and then one that applies to both. However, you may get the same, like the letter P, like three times, and ugh. Three boards. And you turn into angels and wings when you die. So it's like Ladybug already has a pair of wings, but I guess the angel wings. Okay, so this one has a P. If I get a red P, I can complete the board and go to the vegetable, the secret level. I just gave it away. The secret level that you get with special. Let's do, oh, I'm not even going to chance it. Because then the P might not come back for a long time. So I'm just going to wait for the red. It's, it, it's practically guaranteed. I got it. I got it. So now I get to go to the vegetable harvest. And in this board, you just got to eat all the vegetables that you can in a specific time limit. Unfortunately, I don't understand why it doesn't put the time limit on. But, oh, that's a lamb. Like a plant. I think it's, I don't know what that is. Onion, something, mushroom. I got, got them all. Got them all. You know, the nice thing is you can go try to get it again. And I got these other bad guys. I should have should have tried to get a red A. Well, again, no points is worth losing a life for. Uh, you don't need a T. Should wait. I'm gonna might try to get a red P. I'm always trying to always play like you're gonna go for the gold. Got it. Now if I get a yellow T, or I mean a yellow E, I can show you what it's like to get a free ladybug in Ladybug. And then to be quite frank, 
that's probably as good as I'm going to do because my skills on this game I have diminished. I have to practice. I'm dead. I'll take that iron. I I I'm responsible for that. I'm guilty. Now I got five times the score. Doesn't really help me. Level eight. That looks like a monkey. But I think it's a bamboo shoot. Free guy. I got the free guy. And that you clear the board. Now we got Japanese radish. One nice thing is this game actually tells you what the prize is in English. It's like in Pac-Man. It doesn't always tell you what the bonus food is. And there's been much debate whether it... Oh. There's been much debate whether Pac-Man eats a grenade or a pineapple or whatever, but with Ladybug, there's no debate. It shows you the fruit. I think there's a rhyme in there somewhere. Now, I've gone so far into the game, if you notice the monsters, are all different. So, it's like, it, they ran out of monsters. So now they're just all banding together. And now you can't outrace these guys. You have to rely so solely on your wits. Maybe one of you guys can beat my level and then post it in the comments and that would be great. Might save this E for last. And I'll go for whatever. Maybe a ready. E. Got it. R C E. I need the R, I need the C, and I need the E. I didn't need mean to do that. Oh, I'm just panicking. This game does get your heart rate up. And you don't think straight. Got the yellow R. I guess I'm not going for points. I want a red C. Got it. And I just need a yellow E. And hopefully clear the board. They move so fast. Unbelievable. Uh, yellow E. I'm not going to talk now because i got to focus. Plus, I think I've said everything I needed to say. Oh. In the arcade, the, the angel floats away. Game over. That's Ladybug. I would try it. Enjoy.